Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my 1cc of Tadpole Tales on Expert Mode. Um, what I'm not going to do is do a commentary for the first one, which went up some months back. Um, interestingly enough, I didn't really notice much difference, if anything at all, between the normal mode and ex Expert Mode, except for the fact that Expert Mode takes place at night and there's like this timer in the bottom left hand corner but other than that it pretty much felt the exact same so yeah anyway one thing i wanted to or one reason i wanted to share this one go back and share commentary for it even though this is from ages ago now um, is because i feel it's a really solid game in terms of um just like a nice switch from blowing things up just the 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 whole like destructive path in this this is called a clean em up and so you're literally just helping clean these yeah water creatures essentially uh you do kind of shoot down some like flying things that cross the screen um but other than that like in terms of the the fish and catfish and all that like whatever else uh like frogs and whatnot uh, you're not actually killing anything and I feel that's a really great Like not everyone is gonna care, but I feel like in ways it's a great introductory game for Kids who you want to show them these types of games you want to show them like shmups, but not necessarily um, Yeah stuff where you're like blowing things apart and yeah, just laying waste to everything in sight and the fact that you are like helping it I think that's really cool. You're helping the creatures. So this is definitely one I want to like just share a little bit about. Um, but yeah, anyway, so visually, I think this has a lot of charm. It's just like a, a picture book in ways. Um, now it is an extremely short game. And at the time that I got this, this is on Steam. Uh, and I, I almost never, ever play games on the computer, to be honest. But this was free. And at the time anyway, and I just could not resist the look and feel of it, the music, and just, yeah, everything it has to offer in such a tiny package, I just was really pulled into it. And there the duck is all better now. And you get an extra heart. So one thing I really do like is that as you progress, your tadpole will get bigger, and that will expand the... Uh, the shot type, essentially. So I forget what the mid-sized like growth translates to in terms of the, the shot type, but I do know that when you are like the big frog or whatever, you have um, <clears throat> like a spread shot of like, th I think it's something like three shots. And uh, yeah, or maybe we already grew to the mid-size, I'm not sure. Because maybe it's based on hearts. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just like, kind of like looking at everything and chatting away. But I think we did actually go up one because he's a little bigger. So yeah, I think the only difference from the first phase or the first state to the second is like a rapid fire. But yeah, just gorgeous colors. Like I really, really like this game. This is uh, definitely one I will introduce to my daughter when she's at an age where... <clears throat> yeah, she can understand, like, playing the controls and, like, working with the controls and all that kind of stuff. Which is not quite yet. She's still pretty young. But I just love how creative this is. Like, you have these big bobbers that are explosives. Now, I'm not used to playing on keyboard whatsoever, so this part was a bit of a, a, a tricky thing for me to get used to. Like, I did clear it uh, normal and expert mode the first night I played it, so it's not like it's an insanely challenging game or anything. But for me, not being used to the the keys, this was probably one of the trickiest sections, believe it or not. Even though it's nothing in intense whatsoever. <clears throat> Sometimes... If you don't power up enough before one of the boss fights, then it can just take a lot longer. But, like, not, like, insanely longer. We're just, like, 
an extra little bit here and there, but ideally you want to be going in with as much firepower as you can just to lay waste to bosses as soon as possible. So when you're the big frog, you're way, way slower. And I'm there were a few times, I think I'd take a hit or two, because the hitbox, it's not like it feels unfair or anything, but you're just so big and so slow at this point that it's tricky to gauge what your hitbox actually is, especially when you've you only play it at night and then you're you're finished with it more or less. But uh, yeah. But it's such a cool game. If you do like what you see, I do recommend checking out um, my normal mode clear. Uh, the daytime looks gorgeous, like obviously the the color of the water is different because it's daytime and everything is just like bright, sunny, all this kind of stuff. And it, I just, yeah, it's really enjoyable. In ways I actually prefer the way the daytime looks compared to this. Like both are nice, but if I was, if I had to choose between one or the other, I would choose daytime for sure. I love those guys. And how they just have that, like, straight blast attack. And the sound effects are super cool. I'm curious to see if the people who made this, or the person, I'm not sure who it is, if they have any sort of plans for it, other games like this. And there is a story. It wasn't included in this video. Um, but it's all about how... Uh, I think there's like King Frogo or something is like ruling over the land. Everyone is in harmony and blah, blah, blah. And then this corrupt oil or whatever it is, this like black something uh, starts seeping into the nature and just taking control, twisting the animals and whatnot. Uh, and so there is a like a story cutscene at the start and then one at the end as well. I just left it out because I, yeah, for my recordings at the time, I didn't need to showcase it two times and yeah this is the final boss already what I love thinking about is just putting myself in the the mind of a child like a young child who would be playing this for the first time like they had never let's say they've never played many games yet because they're just very young and they've especially never played a shmup. Like, getting to this point and seeing this massive corrupt frog or whatever it's supposed to be, like, this would have their heart going. And that's just fantastic. It's such, oh, yeah, honestly, it's such a great beginner shmup, in my opinion. It's not too long. It, it will provide some challenge, for sure but it's something they can certainly overcome with a little patience and practice and yeah just building all the confidence all that kind of stuff that yeah I talk about in other videos Actually, I might have shown the end story just for the sake of it. I'm not, yeah. Like I said, it was months ago, so I'm not sure like why I left this in or what, but... Maybe because I didn't just want to cut from like finishing the boss to absolutely nothing. But yeah, look at, like, just, oh, the art alone makes it just fantastic. Anyway, that's probably where I will leave things off. There isn't really much more to say, but I did want to just share this one a little bit uh, because I do really enjoy it. And I feel like it's one of those less known games, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, 
take a look on Steam. I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else. It might be, who knows. But uh, yeah, anyway, let me know what you think. Um, have a stellar week. It's Monday today. I trust everyone's having an awesome one so far. And yeah, we'll touch base when we do.